Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm Holly, and today I thought I'd do a bit of a ramble video where I talk about nothing really. Actually, I'm gonna talk about a few things. Thanksgiving just happened. I'm a little bit behind on this video, but I baked pie. And I wanted to talk a little bit about baking pie because baking pie is a process and it's important that we talk about it. So I made them from scratch. I made three. I made a pumpkin, an apple, and a strawberry blueberry pie. They turned out wonderful. I was very, very happy with the end result, but the process is what's important. I feel like it's a dying art. Some people just like, they, they like the convenience of going to the store and buying one. I think it's more important to make one yourself. Um, first off, it'll teach you patience because that shit takes forever. To make a pie crust, you, you add the ingredients. Everything has to be a certain temperature. In order to make the dough, you have to add, I think like half a cup of water. I don't remember the recipe, but it, tablespoon at a time of ice water. You add a tablespoon, you mix, it takes forever. And then before you can use it, you have to let it refrigerate from like two to four hours. And then rolling that stuff out is, it's, you should have some arm strength. It takes patience and it's important to have patience in today's society where no one has patience. It feels like sometimes, not saying you don't have patience, I'm just saying there's a lot of impatient people out there. Um, it's also great to make the pie, make another pie later and improve upon yourself. So you can enter them in fairs or whatever you want to do. That's great. And plus they're delicious. It's just nice to make something you can share with people, I think is the bottom line. Make a pie to share. Also, maybe make your own whipped cream. I forgot this little um, important part of pie. <laughs> and I went to the grocery store and bought two tubs of Cool Whip. You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. And I went through the Express and there was a lady behind me that had two cartons of whipping cream. I think she judged me. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool whip. Speaking of grocery stores, I have noticed that people seem to forget that there are other people around them. I've talked about this before. It is one of my biggest pet peeves on the planet. A lot of peas in that sentence. When I leave an aisle, when I get to the end of that aisle, I pretend it's a stop sign. I put my card out a little bit. I look both ways before continuing. Most people don't do this because they're assholes. There's been so many times I've almost hit people or have been hit or walked into because someone didn't stop to take two seconds and be like, hey, you know what? I bet there's other people in this grocery store. Maybe I should take a look around. And it's harder for someone who is aware. Like I'm super aware of my surroundings at all times. I try very hard to avoid other people and give them their space. Um, but yeah, just take a moment, make sure you're not gonna elbow someone in the face. And finally, I wanna talk a little bit about fashion. I know nothing about the subject. I'm not very good. I took it in high school. I can knit. I made pajama pants once in fashion class. It was great. I made them six sizes too big. Here's where I stand in kind of the whole idea of expressing yourself. Wear whatever you want. I think it's great if you want to express yourself, but if you look ridiculous, in my opinion, I have the right to think you look ridiculous. But my opinion shouldn't matter to you being as my opinion most likely will not affect you in any way, shape or form down the road. That's my opinion on that subject. I've been thinking about that really hard lately because I'm always like, I'm really open-minded, but sometimes I see people and I'm like, you look stupid, but good on you for, you know, doing you. Anyway, that's the end of that rant. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, also can't put rant in the title anymore because I had a video demonetized. Not that it makes a difference. I don't really do YouTube for money. <laughs> I don't make any money doing this, but it was kind of like, really? I put rant in the title and you demonetized it? All right, I guess. I hope you enjoyed this video about pie and, uh, and uh, fashion.